showed me a pic of you and I was like, he, mm, I'm a little worried about this energy because I just feel as though, you know, it's gonna, he's not, he just doesn't give me loyal energy. And oh. can I be honest? Hey everybody, my name's Anthony Rasinello. I'm a social and relationship coach living in Los Angeles. I've been doing this for the past 15 years and I've been reacting to Emma Chamberlain for the past, I don't know, four years now. I kinda know her very well, just watching her videos. Not by meeting her. By meeting her, I know her very little. Here's the picture to prove that I am better than you and that I met Emma Chamberlain. And it wasn't at some influencer event. I was chilling in LA and she was chilling in LA and I don't know, we crossed paths, whatever. God, stop, get off my case. This series Love Test is where I break down the relationship of two famous people. I'm gonna extract the positive qualities of their relationship and then teach it to you in a very simple way. Maybe the negatives, I'll say, oh, I don't like this about their relationship, don't do this in their relationship. And at the end, I'm going to give it a love test score from one to 10 just like Anthony Fantano does. I'm coming for you, Anthony. Tucker, what is my full name? First, middle, and last. Emma Francis Chamberton. You know what? Does role model or Tucker, doesn't he look like a mix between, <laughs> between Charlie Puth and Ethan Hawke? He's got the pop and he's got like the indie cool drama. That's what I'm getting so far. The outfit, he kind of looks like he dresses a little bit like a Mr. Rogers mixed with Jack Antonoff. Anyway, it's just what I'm picking up right off the bat. What are my parents' names? Soph. Okay, you can't be abbreviating. Sophia. You need to, you need to fucking Sorry. say it with your Sophia. chest. Wow. And... We knows who wears the pants in this relationship, damn. Vam. How many tattoos do I have? I know it's hard, I can barely even fucking remember. And it's my own arm, you know? All right, already, already I got their relationship. Are you ready for this? Emma is a firecracker. She's emotional, she's expressive. Sometimes she doesn't like the feelings that she's getting at times. She doesn't like how she feels at times. Sometimes she loves how she feels at times. She's all over the place. And role model grounds her. Look at how and calm this dude is. Chilling with those cross legs, real nice and dandy like. Just chill, like look at that, what is this? What is that? What the f is that? Like just a ring, just one ring, just a nice little hand tattoo. He's just relaxed. Look, Jack Antonoff meets Mr. Rogers outfit. Charlie Puth meet, <laughs> meets Ethan Hawke face. He's the grounding, he's the calm to Emma's stuff. Now I'm not saying Emma is like all over the place, super energetic or anything like that, but she's definitely more the expressive emotional one. At least that's what I'm seeing in the first, what, two minutes? <laughs> now the thing about flirting and how they flirt with each other is everybody has a different way of flirting. However, all flirting has certain elements that make it good, that make it build attraction between each other. And I teach all of that in my new free conversation class on Skillshare. You can get it in the link in the description. What do I say when I walk up to somebody? How do I compliment somebody? How do I express my attraction? How do I ask questions? How do I keep a conversation going and never run out of things to say? I always wondered all this stuff. That's why I obsessed over it all my life and I became who I am today. The reason why I love this class is because it's something that I wish I had when I was younger, that I could just go and study and go, I know how to go up to anybody. Whether it's somebody I have a crush on or it's a business relationship or it's just me making friends, I know how to have a conversation at any time in any place. And that is what I wanted to give to you. Link in the description. I'll remind you later on at the end of the video so you can click it if you wanna watch the rest of the video. Let's get back to it. Describe a perfect day for me. Okay, wake up. I don't wanna give up your workout place, but you go to a certain place. I love my morning exercise, for LA sure. workout okay. class that you can possibly take. You have a love affair with your and personal trainer, so I don't know why we're having not, this Don't even have one. And Yes, you do. So wake up early, and there have her coffee. <laughs> that coffee does what it does. I poop. Work out, ideally in the morning. Get the body right for summer. <laughs> um, do your podcast. I guess that's work, though. Like, not that it feels like work, but that's... <laughs> he is a 
a fucking I'm open book, lightly. you guys. I'm no, he's a loose lightly. cannon. He actually is a loose cannon. I am scared of the comments to come. No, I know. Oh we, we have a lot to worry about. So what I noticed right there when Emma kind of was like, oh, you're saying too much right here. I believe role model, he is more honest. He's more open. He's more forthright, even though Emma is more expressive more open, more energetic. She knows how to express herself in a way that is not going to like shake the room up and make everyone go, oh sh did he say the right thing? Did she say the right thing? She's like much more socially adept, more socially aware of the room and what is right to say, what is wrong to say, don't get me canceled type of stuff, where I feel like role model, He's a musician, hey, I don't give a fuck, you know. And you know, he's devil may care, baby. Even though, you know, he's relaxed, he's chill, he's a little Mr. Rogers, but you know, behind that soft exterior has some sharp words. How did I get started in music? You were in college? Yes. And you weren't feeling so good. <laughs> you weren't having a good time. Not feeling so good. You weren't feeling so good. No. And so, you had like friends who were doing music or something, or you like knew people who were doing music? Yes. And they like left their stuff? Yes. In your dorm? Yes. And then you were like, ugh. And you started playing around with it? Mm -hmm. And you're like, this feels pretty good. And it, and it fired you up a little bit, and you're like, let's keep going. Good job. Say it with me. Bada, bada boom, boom bada, bada bing. bing. What instruments do I play? Guitar. And who taught me? My dad. Cute. Well, my dad knows how to play. My dad knows how to play every instrument. He's got beautiful fingers and he just rips <laughs> on I'm so sorry, Dad, if you're like, watching this. I know you're watching this. That was so inappropriate. All right, so the reason why it looks like, and I, I don't know, I haven't looked at the comments, but I feel like some people are gonna be like, oh, role model Tucker is kind of like a douchey, like he says kind of like sarcastic things, kind of like knocking her down a peg or something like that. I don't think so. I think this is their like little cutesy dynamic. This is their flirting. Like he likes to tease her. He likes to do a little gay voice. He likes to kind of mock her a little bit and she loves it. And that's okay. That's like a, that's a healthy thing that two people in a relationship do with each other. It's just funny coming out of such like a quiet, chilled out, like, yeah, yeah. Your dad has beautiful fingers or whatever the f he was saying. So yeah, if anybody was feeling that, I kind of got it a little bit at first too, but then my analytical brain really went into overdrive and realized that it's nothing, don't worry about it. What's my biggest fear? Wait, this is kind of dark, Tucker. Okay, then that's probably not it. Swimming at night. Th that's so not true, we just talked about. Yo, if did I... he just pull a Derek Zoolander? Did he just pull a Latia Gray right there? Dude, role model, I mean. Who made the first move? You. Thank you. All right, now How we're getting. You first hear of me? Tell the story. I first heard of you from a mutual friend that we have. Okay. Yes. Because they were telling me role model is the man for you. Showed me a pic of you, and I was like, he. Mm, <laughs> I'm a little worried about this energy because I just feel as though you know it's gonna. He's not. He just doesn't give me loyal energy. And oh, can I be honest? It was the tattoos. Vibes. I was like, too many. Every tattoo is like a little less loyal. And I gave Tucker a chance and he proved me wrong. Give him Aww. a chance. Give him a chance. So that's that. That's Emma Chamberlain and role model. I don't know what I was expecting. You put two hipsters in two chairs and have them ask questions and talk to each other on a camera and that's uh, that's what you're gonna get. Nothing exciting, nothing super funny or interesting. They kind of have their own little vibe going on. That's like outside of us. Like I didn't feel like, I was brought in. I felt like I was watching a couple kind of bicker, but in like a cute flirty way on their, their couch while I was like a fly on the wall. And I felt uncomfortable about it. I didn't feel good about it. But you're here for the rating. You're here for the authenticity. Uh, uh, uh. Like I said before, I do think that their, their dynamic is this kind of like 
flirty kind of like uh, uh, type of thing that they like doing. It's fine. To sum it up, I do think they have an authentic relationship. I do think they're good for each other. I do think they're going to last for a little while. I don't know if they're like, they're going to go all the way and get married or they're going to break up in a couple years, fizzle out. No idea. doesn't really matter. They're young. They're having fun. They're falling in love. It's all good. No need to worry about the future. For my love test rating, first of all, how do like what what how am I rating them? What do the numbers mean when I'm rating a couple on love test? It literally means how much I like them. It also means like how good of a relationship I think they have, how like how positive I think their relationship is, how much it could really like teach to their fans you know, like good values and stuff like that. I'm gonna give them like a solid, <laughs> you're not gonna like this, Emma. A solid six and a half. I haven't seen much of you guys yet. That's all I know. A little bored, a little not feeling, ah, I wanted more, that's all. I just wanted more. And you guys are just too cool. Role model's too cool. You could tell he was just like, whatever, I don't even care about this. But I feel like really inside he really liked it. Maybe. May just maybe you'll put out more videos of you guys hanging out, maybe in Emma's vlogs, you know, and I'll have some more stuff to like look at and really analyze. I think it is the lowest rating for a relationship on Love Test thus far. But if this video does get 100,000 views or 10,000 likes, whichever one comes first, within the year of 2023, I'll do a part two of them if they have more footage that I could react to. And here's another reminder to get my free conversation class. It's on Skillshare. It teaches you everything you needed to know ever, ever, ever on how conversation works. All from walking up to a person, starting a conversation. What do you say as soon as you start the conversation? What do you say as soon as the conversation starts taking a lull? How do you compliment? How do you flirt? How do you express your attraction? Build that chemistry. It's all in my new conversation class I have on Skillshare. The link is down in the description description, you get um, like a month free of Skillshare. If you're not a member, if you already are a member of Skillshare, you just go and you get the class. If you aren't a member, you get a month free with that link. And then after you watch my class, cancel and then no money, not cost nothing. Do you have any other suggestions for who I should react to on Love Test? Let me know in the comments.